Okay, hey, so today was Aries Day, so uh, so I started by looking at the kind of instruments I wanted to do. I was kind of torn between, like, I didn't really want to do, like, another, like, violin variation or, like, if you get what I mean, but... So I was thinking a heart, but then I decided to do a tuba instead. And I really like this design, I think it was cool. I took more consideration into kind of like the original Aries design and then because it has a lot of pipes on the instrument, I could like bend them to make like certain parts of the gun, so yeah. Same method as the Frenzy, so I used a cylinder and just blocked it out like that. Also, so yeah, just move some things around so they don't clash. Added more faces, extruded, extruded, because I wanted kind of like the M parts to have a bit more kind of, um, I don't know, to be more like, uh, have more scale, I guess. So yeah, this is me trying to do the tube. So at first I was going to try to do it all in one mesh, and then I decided, yeah, that's not going to happen. So I tried doing it this way, but in the end I just get a cylinder and then model it, so yeah. I think I used the mirror, yeah, so I used the mirror modifier to do these just to make it just a bit easier for myself and then the loop cart was a bit weird so I had to go around and do that, but anyway, yeah. Also, this is the scope, so the it kind of has some rings on it, I feel like on the tuber to like you either hold or I don't know, they're just there, so I added those to be like scopes and extra decoration. At first I was gonna take the frenzy kind of thingies, but then I thought, no, I kind of want to model them a bit different this time to get their kind of originality rather than reusing, so yeah. It was kind of adding kind of like decorations where needed and like just I did a lot more here so yeah I added the kind of donut things on there and then I took out the faces so yeah those were just kind of supposed to be like supporting rings and stuff so yeah uh, just modeling those but I'm really happy with the design actually like I didn't want to do repeats of like or like families of musical instruments I didn't want to do like I don't know like more than one brass kind of instrument but anyway yeah so uh yeah the pipes are really fun to do though i enjoyed with the frenzy and i feel like because it didn't really get recorded i thought i should do another one <laughs> to show you how i did it but anyway yeah i used the mirror modifier for this as well then i go around and fix the loop cut i feel like so yeah it's nearly the end of the week, man. I've enjoyed this, but I haven't at the same time. Like, I really do like doing this. I really like weapons, but I feel like this was kind of difficult because half of me wanted to do it in the Valorant style, but then half of me didn't want to. So I feel like, I don't know. And I feel like the weapons are really flat. Like, um, especially the piano one for me. Like, the kind of saxophone ones are fine because I feel like they don't really need that, but yeah. So this time I added in the kind of barrel. I don't, I don't know, man. So I put it in there. Then also this is me doing the kind of chibi things. So yeah, I, so this, what I was originally gonna do is this was gonna be the low poly version. And then I would subdivide the other one, maybe add kind of like dents and stuff. So yeah. Um, I really like this, like, it's, I feel like it's suitable kind of like, topology, I like the topology and how I've done it, I really like, so yeah, I just went in and got uh, rid of like, faces that you're not gonna see, so it helps me with the unwrapping so I don't have to, you know, like, deal with those faces which no one's gonna see anyway, so yeah. This is me duplicating it, adding subdivision, I was gonna add cuts but then it didn't really work out because it just goes weird. So yeah, um, also gonna bevel it, but that went weird as well, so yeah. Added kind of dents in the kind of thingies. I still don't know what they're called, I'm sorry if this is an informative. But anyway, yeah, just kind of playing around with it, to be honest, yeah. Sad thing is, <laughs> the baking didn't actually work. I really sat here for like, I don't know, let's say 20 minutes trying to do it and it didn't work, so yeah. I think at this point I realised I haven't actually UD unwrapped that, so I was like, okay. 
so yeah this time i did the kind of method where i uv and wrap everything and out and then drag it outside of the uh uv square and then rearrange them definitely could have done better of course but like i feel like i don't know it's a step up from last time <laughs> dude but yeah so this is me just most of it is just to cut down the middle and then a cut around like the front face or any circles so yeah that's kind of how i do it and then yeah when selecting it i can see kind of like what faces is in that kind of uv section so yeah that's kind of helpful i really want to do a like a bake this so bad but it just didn't work you see it's really frustrating man but yeah uh uvs i really still can't do uvs but yeah like i said i did it a different way i feel like they're a bit better now so yeah um yeah so you see i'm dragging them out also for that part i disconnected it because it's gonna overlap so yeah that was pretty cool um i so this time on the other model the kind of barrel shooty thing is like a separate part but this time i extruded it out of the front piece of the gun which kind of helped a bit more i feel like that was a bit more better because it shouldn't be a separate piece like i get kind of like the magazine would be a separate piece but i feel like that shouldn't be a separate piece but anyway yeah that's just my kind of logic so yeah again there's a few uvs which are a bit like uh oh, really uh, but yeah so yeah i just kind of organized them briefly like this isn't how they are i could have organized it that like a different way i feel like i might um uh like it's probably more like sensible to order them in kind of color or material kind of way or like the parts so i kind of tried i kind of tried to put all the tubes together but yeah next time i will be more aware so like the material kind of thing but that's kind of more for kind of like this was kind of basically the same gold material if he like because yeah it was majority gold so i don't think i did too bad but yeah I'm actually really excited to make a Valorant character, man. I've been dreaming about it. Like, I'm like, not that, like, I don't like what I'm doing now. I'm just, like, dreaming about it. I'm like, please, can this week be over? But, yeah. No, I enjoyed this, but I feel like I did it really poorly. Which is really, ah, uh, it's really sad to think about. But I feel like I could have done this so much better, you get me? Like, I don't know. Maybe I should have researched more, like, there's loads of Vandal, like, 3D models out there. Maybe I should have kind of, like, got one of those and then, like, seen how they did it or something. But, yeah, oh, like, it happens, man, it happens. So, yeah. I, I really like the, like, the trumpet and tuba kind of two guns i was more inclined to do that because the kind of trumpet way because the frenzy is quite small so yeah plus you kind of want a chunky weapon for a machine gun so like i was gonna do a harp but then i was like how would that work like yeah this is me messing up the baking man like sometimes okay so it's kind of trial and error sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't like i don't know that i probably i did it i've watched so many videos but you know what? it's okay like it wasn't necessary like it's not gonna be like it's not necessary but it would have been nice if i could bait or baked the higher poly one onto the low poly one but it's okay so yeah um do, 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 do. but yeah i was gonna do a harp or like a cello kind of thing but then i didn't want to again i didn't want to do a repeat like the marshal has a violin so, and it's quite like it's not a big gun but like it's a big gun like i no, i mean <laughs> compared to the frenzy like it's not a sidearm or like i don't know like if it was maybe a shotgun i might have done a cello but it's okay i was also thinking of doing maybe like i don't know like other instruments but then 
it doesn't really fit in with the classical theme so i thought yeah we're not gonna add that but yeah this is me just i've i've literally had this problem so many times you can see i've looked at all the pages like twice in a row so yeah like at some point i just give up like i it's not necessary you know like if i was actually making this for a game that would be very triggering but it's kind of not and i feel like the topology is nice so yeah Plus, I'm, I kind of, I don't want to, I don't make realistic assets anyway, so I feel like it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, I was kind of playing around with the height. Um, definitely played around a bit more, so rather than using the bevel kind of tool, I actually used like, just up the height on a material, which gave a better result like it doesn't do that weird thing and then yeah it gave a better result plus i'll be excited to do this like um i saw someone's models yesterday and they were really cool and i want to do like um kind of like wrapping like maybe cloth around a gun but having it as a texture instead of like something else but yeah that would be really cool to do. I really want to do like kind of more detail to these models, more stylized, so yeah. Oh dude, I also forgot to kind of do the airbrush shading on this one. So I'll probably go back to it later. So yeah. To be honest, I didn't spend like... I don't know man, I didn't like... I went over the three hour mark but only by 20 minutes, which was kind of sad. Like I expected myself to take more time on this. But... I'm happy with the end result, of course, like, in a dream world, most of the detail, like, I would have sculpted it and then I would have retopologized it, like, I really wish that was, I could do that, like, it's not that I can't sculpt it, it's just like, the kind of retopology step is a bit, like, iffy for me, especially because on the first gun, no, was it the first gun? Um, yeah. On the, like, Violin Marshall, dude, I tried, and yeah, it's very difficult, man. But hopefully the future we do a bit more, so yeah. So yeah, this is me uh, filling in the scope. Again, the black mask and the white mask is so useful when you know, like... Yeah, like you don't even have to put things in separate meshes you can just select the faces which is very useful so yeah i really like that pen that i use for the kind of swirly bits it's really a cool pen brush maybe i should say brush but yeah i really want to do more man i feel like i don't know i feel like this wasn't the best i could have done <laughs> but like this skin pack but i feel like it's okay i i like the end result honestly yeah also with this render because i had the um frenzy in the file i kind of rendered them together just see how they look and then yeah there's this one's definitely more shiny more metallic so i'm gonna put that down because i don't want it to be like I don't know, blinding. I don't want it to be that metallic. I want it to be more kind of like cartoony. So yeah, we might have to grab the material from the other one. But yeah. So yeah, adding just kind of like screws, kind of like lines, like just more detail, kind of like squiggly bits. So yeah, that's what I was kind of doing at this point so yeah there's still distortion in the model i think it's because i cut it down the middle and then that's where the texture splits so it gets a bit weird over there so yeah maybe next time i might have a bit in the middle but yeah um this is fun to make man i really like this one uh, plus it's very nice topology I think like it's kind of nice even though there's kind of meshes inside of each other so yeah I don't think I want to put all the like the meshes together to be one big mesh like I don't know about that so yeah also played around with the magazine you see it's just kind of like a ball thing but anyway 
yeah so as you can see yeah the render it's more shinier than the other one but yeah i'll probably fix that i recorded the voice with that in a sensible time so i've kind of just finished so now i'm just gonna kind of walk away for a bit and then i'll come back either fix stuff or render the video finish the video but anyway yeah um at twitch uh thank you and tomorrow is going to be knife day i don't know if i'm gonna do the flu i don't know we'll see how we go there but anyway yeah bye